Welcome to the Applied Mathematics 9 online product walkthrough. This video will introduce you to these exciting new resources and show how you can get the most out of these resources in your Applied Mathematics classroom. Nelson's new Applied Mathematics 9 is an innovative new resource package designed to engage and support students in Applied Mathematics 9, providing meaningful and practical opportunities for students to learn, practice, and apply skills, and to solve problems in real-world mathematical contexts. These resources take a new approach, including a series of hands-on, interactive whiteboard lessons paired with a workbook to provide ample practice for students. Applied Mathematics 9 consists of 52 problem-based lessons, each following the three-part lesson plan. Each lesson offers an open or guided pathway, along with teaching notes for each, to allow teachers to choose the type of lesson that will work best for their students. To help students prepare for the EQAO Provincial Assessment, each lesson includes EQAO-style multiple-choice and open response questions in the workbook that offer students an opportunity for continual practice throughout the year. The Applied Mathematics 9 resources will allow you to cover 100% of the expectations of the curriculum, and each lesson has been field-tested to ensure that they're effective and engaging. Applied Mathematics 9 consists of three components, an interactive whiteboard package, a student workbook, and a solutions book. The interactive whiteboard package includes ready-to-use interactive whiteboard lessons for 52 topics covered in the course. These lessons provide interactive and engaging activities that support the three-part lesson design, Minds On, Action, and Consolidation. Teachers have the flexibility to teach each lesson using either an open or guided approach. With built-in prompts, teaching notes, black line masters, and assessment opportunities for and as learning to help teachers differentiate instruction and guide students to success. Interactive hands-on practice opportunities are built into each lesson to keep students engaged and to prepare students for further practice in the workbook. The easy-to-use workbook provides ample opportunity for practice and application of skills and concepts covered in the interactive lessons with real-world connections embedded throughout. Each lesson includes a summary of key concepts and practice questions scaffolded into manageable steps. Each lesson also includes EQAO-style assessment questions in both multiple-choice and open-response formats to give students a regular opportunity to practice and become familiarized with those question types. The Solutions Book provides teachers with a copy of the student workbook with answers and solutions provided on every page. Now let's take a look at how the components work together and how you might use Applied Mathematics 9 in your classroom. Each chapter of the Applied Mathematics 9 resources is organized the same way and begins with a chapter organizer. The organizer provides an outline of a typical chapter. You'll see that each chapter includes Chapter Opener A diagnostic assessment called Getting Ready A series of lessons Mid-chapter review Another series of lessons Chapter review And a chapter task You can access each of these slides by clicking on the link from the organizer. Teacher support is built right into these resources. You can click on the Teaching Notes link to access teaching notes for the chapter. Teaching notes for the chapter include the strand and expectations that will be covered in each chapter, along with teaching notes for the Getting Ready Diagnostic Assessment. Now let's take a closer look at what's available in the interactive whiteboard package. Each chapter starts with a chapter opener slide. The chapter opener includes a visual along with some questions that prompt students to think about what they may encounter in the chapter to come and what they already know. Before starting a chapter, teachers have an opportunity to do a diagnostic assessment with the Getting Ready feature. Getting Ready offers teachers a diagnostic assessment to use at the beginning of the chapter to assess students' prior knowledge, identify gaps in students' prior learning, determine if there's a need for intervention, and inform instruction. 
The getting ready section consists of six to 10 multiple choice or true false or fill in the blank questions. The questions are smart response compatible if clickers are available in the classroom and answers are provided at the bottom of each slide. There is also a getting started section in the student workbook, which includes a review of prerequisite skills and concepts needed for success in the lesson, an example problem along with a complete solution, and your turn exercises, which give students an opportunity to practice the necessary prerequisite skills and concepts. Now we're ready to move into the lessons and take a look at how a typical lesson is structured. Here you see the outline of a typical interactive whiteboard lesson. Each lesson follows the same structure. Lesson opener. Minds on. Action. Consolidation. Summary. Your turn. You'll notice that for each lesson, there is both an open and a guided pathway. Teachers have the choice to use either an open or guided approach based on their own preference or the group of students they have in their classroom. Let's start by taking a look at the lesson opener. Much like the chapter opener, the lesson opener starts with a visual and a question to get students' minds active, and in this case, to get students thinking about gathering like terms. Now let's take a look at the first part of the three-part lesson plan. Minds On. The Minds On portion of the lesson is used to activate prior knowledge. A game or activity is provided to enable students to recall and apply concepts needed for success in the lesson. These games and activities harness the power of the interactive whiteboard to engage students. In this particular activity, students will be playing a game called Matho, which is similar to Bingo. In Matho, you use the smart random number generator to generate integers. Students then add the integers, and students can mark off the answers on their cards until someone wins. Tech tips are provided to ensure teachers and students know how to use the technology used in the lessons. This particular tech tip explains how to use the smart random number generator. Here is the Matho card that students will use. The Matho card is available as a black line master in Word format and is modifiable so every student can have different numbers on their card. The second part of the three-part lesson plan is the action portion of the lesson, which provides problem-based learning for students to develop new skills and concepts. Teachers have the option of using either an open or guided approach for this part of the lesson, and separate teaching notes are available for each. Let's take a look at a guided lesson. The problem used in both the open and guided lessons are the same, but the guided approach provides built-in prompts to help guide students step-by-step -step through solving the problem. In both types of lessons, students work in pairs or groups to solve the problem posed. One group of students may work at the interactive whiteboard while the other groups work at their desks. In this lesson, students are challenged to develop different combinations of terms that result in the same polynomial. To help students solve the problem, virtual algebra tiles are provided and can be used to show the combination of algebra tiles Kyle pulled from the bag. Those working at their desks may use the real manipulatives. The algebra tiles are on an infinite clone and you're able to pull out as many as you like. You'll also notice that vocabulary words are highlighted when used for the first time in the interactive whiteboard lessons. Clicking on the vocabulary words will take you to another slide where the word will be defined. Clicking on the Back to Lesson link will take you back to the lesson. The lesson continues with Part 3 of the three-part lesson plan, Consolidation. The consolidation portion of the lesson provides an opportunity to reflect on and talk about the learning from the lesson. During consolidation, the teacher helps the students to draw out the key learnings from the solutions students developed in the action phase of the lesson. In this particular lesson, there are four reflecting questions that can be used to focus students to the mathematics in their solution. Each of the questions is covered up and can be revealed one at a time so not to overwhelm the student with a screen full of text. 
by clicking on the Reveal button, we're able to build the consolidation question by question. The consolidation section also includes a series of 5 to 10 questions that teachers can ask students to see if they've understood the key learnings of the lesson before moving on. The questions in the consolidation section are smart response compatible, so can be used with clickers if they're available in the classroom. Again, to make things as simple as possible for the teacher, answers are provided right on the screen and a single click will reveal the correct answer. At the end of the consolidation section, a summary of the key learnings from the lesson is provided before students get to try practicing the concepts on their own. Again, we build the summary point by point by clicking the Reveal button. The teacher has the option to stop, talk about each of the points, or have students do something if they so desire before moving on to the next point. The summary of the key learnings from the lesson is also included in the workbook in the Keep in Mind feature, so students always have a complete summary of the lesson. Following the summary is an opportunity for formative assessment called Your Turn. Students have an opportunity for some hands-on practice and teachers have an opportunity to provide feedback. A solution is always provided for the Your Turn section and provides step-by-step -step solutions along with short explanations of the steps taken to solve the problem. The workbook picks up where the interactive whiteboard lessons leave off. Following the summary of the lesson in the Keep in Mind feature, a series of solved examples are provided that students can refer to as they answer the practice questions that follow. The examples are presented with the mathematical solution on the left and the student thinking and reasoning on the right. After the completed examples, the workbook includes lots of practice for students to do right in the workbook. There is no need for students to write down questions and lots of space is available for students to answer each of the questions. Finally, each lesson ends in the workbook with some EQAO preparation questions. Multiple choice and open response questions, similar to the question types students will encounter on the EQAO assessment, are provided to give students lots of exposure to EQAO style questions continually throughout the year so that they're prepared when they take the EQAO assessment. Let's go back to our chapter organizer and see what other resources are available to support each lesson in the interactive whiteboard package. Halfway through a chapter, you have access to mid-chapter FAQs, and chapter FAQs are at the end of each chapter. The mid-chapter review includes FAQs to review the contents of the first half of the lessons in the chapter, and the chapter FAQs provide a review of the lessons in the second half. The mid-chapter and chapter FAQs consist of questions about skills and concepts, followed by an explanation and an example. The FAQs can be used to ensure students have understood the concepts covered in the chapter and to help clear up any misconceptions students may have. In addition to the FAQs, mid-chapter and chapter reviews are available in the student workbook. Review questions for each lesson are provided, as well as additional EQAO-style questions in multiple choice and other response formats. Other resources available for each chapter include a chapter task, along with accompanying teaching notes in Blackline Masters, and a chapter test. Each of these are accessible from the Chapter Organizer slide by clicking on the links. Now that you're familiar with the Applied Mathematics 9 resources, you may want to try a lesson out with your class. To access a sample lesson, please visit www.nelson.com forward slash Applied Mathematics 9. To find your Nelson sales rep, go to replocator.nelson.com. Thanks for watching.